Hey guys, it's me Subpanda101 here, and today I'll be showing you the steps I take in learning a new fighter game for the upcoming EVO 2020 series. I am not a high level player, but I hope these tips can help you improve and bring your fighting game knowledge up to the next level. This is more of a self documentary, but these tips are universal to every fighting game. Have fun, and let's get into it. The tutorial teaches us the absolute basics of fighting games. This can be moves, movement, special moves, and what a combo is. This is a great place to learn these basics, and the basics of the system that you're playing. For example, Skullgust has combo stages, an infinite prevention system, a push block mechanic, and assist mechanics. There are some other things that the tutorial mode doesn't teach you, but I'll get there eventually in another video. Skullgirls is a dynamic team-based game, meaning you can have one, two, or three characters in your team. Having an idea of what you want your team to be is good, but picking one character to start off with makes the learning process a whole lot easier. Once I've picked my character, here it's currently Solo Parasol, I'll go into training mode and get a feel for her normal moves, specials, and her supers. I'll have a faint idea of what links into each other, but I won't learn any actual combos until I've got a general feel for the character. After I've used a few of my character's moves, I'll try and find a basic bread and butter combo. Skullgirls has quite hard bread and butters, but they are completely doable, they just take time, effort, and a lot of practice. Depending on the video game, finding resources for your character can be extremely easy to extremely hard. Skullgirls is in the camp that when I google Skullgirls Parasol BNB, the options I get are pretty good. I recommend using Skullheart or Mizumi Wiki for BNBs, these don't need to be optimal, they just need to do the job. I went into my first match of online play. Online play in most fighting games isn't that great to learn from, as your experience can be a very mixed bag. Skullgirls has a rollback based netcode implementation, so the online experience is as close to offline as you can get. However, Skullgirls doesn't have a ranked based matchmaking system, so I got completely mixed up and destroyed. The game is so fast that it can be very difficult to learn from in the heat of battle, but luckily, Skullgirls has a replay system to learn from. This can be enabled by going in Steam and using the Enable Replays Launch option. However, it doesn't mean that I didn't learn anything from my first match. The thing that I did learn was that my combos weren't landing at all from the two-player side. I did some practice and now I feel a lot more consistent. Just having one or two small improvements that you can learn from after a match can bring your play all the way up to the next level. I wouldn't say learning an optimal combo is necessary or even recommended this early in the learning process. However, due to the exams that I had in this current week, learning anything all too productive was taken up by my own exam time. I used Skullheart again to search for an optimal combo with Parasol. This combo is a mid-screen combo that is situational, but fun and easy to learn. I decided to add yet another character to my team. This character is Fukua. The way I learnt this character is the same as how I learnt Parasol. I learned her normals and specials, and then learned a BNB on Skullheart. Sorry that this week got cut short. Sadly, I had some very important Microsoft certificate exams to take. Next week I'll be focusing on how I learn offense, defense, a basic game plan, and how to learn from yourself and others. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.